What I would say is we look, when we look at a lot of those legacy technologies, I, I think they've always forced companies to compromise between having a great user experience and delivering great security. And Fordrock, we think the winning company is going to really break that forced compromise so that users can have a really easy onboarding frictionless identity experience while still driving security and privacy in the background. How does this technology fit in with challenges that we've seen in ransomware and other types of intrusions that are really costing uh, a lot of companies money? Yeah, they're really all connected. Um, last year, over 65% of all these types of data breaches were driven in some form by a compromised credential. Someone stole the username and password, were able to break into an enterprise, and then sort of land and expand and execute that ransomware. So we help our customers prevent that from happening by developing more secure identity solutions. Hey, Fran, as we talk more and more about hybrid work and remote work, I wonder how much complexity does that really add uh, to cybersecurity, the fact that you don't have any, everybody working off a, a terminal that's actually in the building? I think it does add more complexity. I mean, when we think about, uh, you know, digital transformation has been going on for a long time, but COVID really accelerated that as so many more workers became remote workers. But also, we as consumers started managing more and more of our lives online, shopping, healthcare, government services, really everything's going digital. And that opens up a new vector of attack for cyber criminals. So everybody's got to adjust, and that's what we help companies do by putting a better identity solutions but, and better security solutions, but making sure they don't feel like a barrier to access, just to make it really frictionless experience. We've talked for a while about the, the narrative that corporate IT budgets would get a tailwind as, as budgets migrate away from, say, real estate footprints, uh, physical footprints, and office space toward the reinvention of IT, I assume you th that's completely legit. It's not, just a, it's not just a straw man. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I think identity really sits at the intersection of two trends. Security, which we've been talking about, and companies understand the cost of a breach, so they're spending to prevent it. But we also help companies drive the bottom line by making more of these easy onboarding experience for users that can make their employees more productive and deepen a relationship with their customers. So it's kind of a double benefit, more security and a better business. Uh, it's one thing to have technology that manages identity. It's another thing to know what to do with it. And I wonder what's happening in identity governance, uh, be, being able to limit in an intelligent way what even legitimate people in the organization have access to. Are organizations managing that in the right and smartest ways, or does there need to be more work done on the interface to help that be more efficient? I think there absolutely needs to be more work done. You know, we have one of our customers who's got 12,000 employees that access thousands of applications, creating a web of millions of entitlement requests they have to track every day. And their company is never stagnant. People are coming, going, changing jobs. And the old way of doing these entitlement management was through some sort of rules or manual approvals. Fordrock, we really believe bringing AI and algorithms is a great opportunity to be able to recognize that bulk of those entitlement requests are low risk, can be automatically approved, increasing productivity, and only flagging higher risk for further analysis. So I think there's really a great opportunity to really revolutionize how that's been done in the past.